Okay, it's about time that I did this. I am now going to do a video about why I think Jon Stewart Green Lantern is better than Hal Jordan Green Lantern. I constantly talk about it in anything in DC that I bring it up, so I'm just going to put this matter to rest and hopefully it will stop me from bringing it up in any videos and having to edit it out. This is going to be extremely nerdy. Back out if you're not a huge nerd and don't want to see me nerd rant. Just, just say that ahead of time. This is more for fun than anything. How Jordan Green Lantern wears a mask. How Jordan Green Lantern is a test pilot. How Jordan Green Lantern is a rebellious figure. How Jordan Green Lantern is kind of more of an asshole. Not in the asshole sense that, like, he's mean to the innocent people. I mean that, you know, kind of an asshole to the Guardians and, and this higher power of releasing government, he's like, yo, screw all y'all if y'all don't like me, because how Jordan, yo. Which is fine, actually, I kind of like that persona, I kind of like the rebellious type, but for being a Green Lantern, you kind of have to assume this role in this military task force, because, you know, that's what they are. They're basically just a huge military police unit for the entire galaxy. Jon Stewart doesn't hide his face. Jon Stewart follows orders. Jon Stewart is a soldier to the core. Jon Stewart is, you know, just kind of more awesome. The reason I say he's more awesome is because if you're a Green Lantern, you have to live without fear. And I kind of have one question, how can you live without fear if you're hiding your identity? I mean, yes, it is common sense to conceal your identity, but Jon Stewart's like, oh, mask? Nah, I'm good. Go mask. What? Because he's just awesome like that. Also, it's not like a race thing. Just, just putting that out there before anyone comments or says anything to me like, yo, you only like him because he's black. It's like, um, you can... No, it's not that. It might be because I'm more acclimatized to him because of the Justice League, the animated series. But Jon Stewart, I just, I've just seen more of him. There's just more of a backstory, a better done backstory in that animated series. Plus, it's easier to see something in an animated series as opposed to reading it in a comic book that has been spanned for over 60 years and sometimes you find things are good and sometimes you don't. I love comic books, but there is a problem with not being able to find consistent things throughout the years. You can point to one, two, maybe three very good storylines with Hal Jordan. There are more. I'm not going to say there's only three. But the fact is, whenever you watch Justice League the Animated Series, you just see consistent good Jon Stewart. Whenever you read stuff, you know, sometimes it's not that great with Hal Jordan. Also, Hal Jordan, I feel like, is getting more amped up so that they can appeal to the older viewers who still want him. I feel that's partially why he's a big thing in comics now, as opposed to Jon Stewart being in it, or even Kyle Rayner, because people just, just wanted him back because they're, they're older viewers. Of course, there are a lot of younger people, like myself, who say, well, Jon Stewart was pretty awesome. I even know a lot of people who aren't huge comic book fans who, prior to the Green Lantern movie coming out, that movie sucked, by the way. I don't know, it sucks. They all thought Jon Stewart was the Green Lantern. They all said, isn't Green Lantern black? And to me, that is the version of Green Lantern. Just like Wally West is the version of The Flash. Sure, it's the, the animated series of Wally West, but you know what? It's... It's just how I see the Flash. It's kind of joking, not using his full potential. Kind of an ass, hits on women every once in a while. I love that version of the Flash, I just do. The fact remains, whenever I hear the oath, the Green Lantern oath, I'm not gonna say it right now, I'm not that huge of a nerd, but whenever I think of that oath, I think of Jon Stewart saying it, not Hal Jordan. I do like the character of Hal Jordan. I'm not taking away from that, and I'm not taking that away from anyone else who likes the character. As a writer, I would prefer to write Jon Stewart. He is more interesting to me. He makes more sense in this Green Lantern role. That's just how I see it. As a viewer, or a reader, or what have you, I prefer, again, Jon Stewart, just because he is a more interesting character to me. He just makes more sense on the big screen. He means more to me in this symbolization form. Hal Jordan doesn't quite so much. He doesn't really make as much sense to me. Yes, you have to have will to wield the Green Lantern ring, and you have to have, you know, kind of a crazy imagination. But that alone doesn't make you qualified for the job, I think. I think that what should make you qualified to the job, according to the Guardians, is that you have to be able to be in this role. You have to be able to assume this role correctly. How Jordan cannot do that. He is too rebellious. But the point of this is that Jon Stewart, I prefer. How Jordan, me. So if you like this video, or even if you don't like this video, whatevs, hit like. 
comment below if you completely agree with me, completely disagree, you have your own viewpoint on, you know, any Green Lantern or any superhero, really. I love hearing, like, people's positions on superheroes, just what they think about superhero psychology. Comment below, Marvel or DC. I love both. I mean, I kind of like Marvel more, but at this very point, it's just, I had to get this one off my chest. I might do more of these later, who knows? Share, subscribe, you know, all that good, good. Peace.